Hello everyone. So I'm going to create another tutorial. Uh, today I think I'm going to go over diesel engines. Um, which I may combine into both diesel uh, making, like extracting diesel, as well as um, creating the engine itself. So first I'm just going to First, I'm just going to create a little diesel setup. Delete everything here. Actually, I could kind of showcase, or at least try and explain what's going on here. Because I made one here. So basically, these are oil derricks. What you do is you power them, and they produce oil. And you can see my pipes are filled here. And then what this is, this is called a liquid boiler. What the liquid boiler does is it takes crude oil. Uh, sometimes you can boil water, but but its main purpose is crude oil. So you put crude oil into it, which you need to do, you need to have it. You need to have it boiled before you can put it through this thing called a separator. Once it comes out, it, you get hot crude oil out of here, which is which is which uh, which goes into this separator. Uh, the separator, separator is this thing. Ignore, ignore this machine. This machine's clipped up, clipped into this one, just ignore that. Um, this is a separator, okay? And the separator has three outputs. You have the residue output, the gasoline output, and the crude crude diesel, okay? So what you do is you take the uh, you can take the gasoline. You can either sell it or uh, burn it. I have it burning into this thing called a uh, into, uh, called a gasoline generator. The gasoline generator burns it for power. Burns the gasoline. The residue is, there's nothing to do with residue, so you just put the residue into a tank like this. And the crude oil, you can put in something called a diesel refinery, which are these little things. They kind of look like uh, sewage treatment plants. You actually see, crude diesel is brown, which, which uh, when, when it goes into here, you produce residue, and you produce poor quality diesel, okay? And you could, you could refine diesel, I think, three times, which I currently have right now, actually. Um, you can refine it three times, uh, again, with the residue. Uh, as you can see, the residue from all of these just connect and go into here, right? But I take, I take from the poor quality diesel and I put it into another one of these refineries, right? And the refinery, it goes into here and out we get something called, if we can, if we could see it... We get diesel. We get normal diesel, right? Normal diesel goes in. Because th this makes normal diesel. This makes uh, poor quality diesel from crude oil. Uh, crude diesel. This makes uh, poor quality diesel from... No, th this makes... Uh, sorry, sorry. This makes um, regular diesel from poor quality. This one makes... I think it's... Let me see, let me see. What, what are we putting in here? Refined diesel. Okay, so I think I think refined diesel is the last step. If it's not, you can correct me in the comments. There may be one more step. I don't know, but when the refined diesel comes out of here, we have something called the diesel engine, which is this thing. And it looks looks very complicated. You see, it's not actually uh, doing anything at the moment because um, it's not really. It's not, I don't really have uh, air connected. I don't know why I removed the air. It doesn't matter. Um. What, what basically this... Okay, I, I'm just going to make this from scratch so I can show you how everything here works. So get rid of everything here. Oh, I forgot we have this new thing. Okay, so let me grab... First off, what you should do is get the diesel engine controller. It's $9,000. Basically, this is the brain of the diesel engine, okay? You need this. You need this. You should, you should put it at, the, uh, at any end. Uh, the end that's opposite of the um, wherever your generator goes. Now you need something called a crankshaft, which costs four thousand each. You need these to connect like this. So you see how you see how you have this right here, the little yellow thing. That has to face the same direction as this one's. Okay, so it has to go like this. You have to place them next to each other. I'm just gonna place um, six right now, but eh, actually I'll, I'll show you like a normal normal version. Okay, now after that you need the uh, you need the fuel input, which let me check the fuel input is four thousand five hundred, which I actually just realized I built this one over, so we could just do that again. 
As you can see, the fuel input. What we do is we connect we connect the our refined diesel or whatever quality diesel to the fuel input, and then as you can see, uh, it starts starts fuel starts going in and it stays in because it's not being used at the moment. Um, next on this side, I usually put the uh, I, on this side I put the diesel in fuel uh, the diesel view panel. Which you don't need, but you should, probably should, because it tells you the percent of everything, which is very useful to know. So, that costs $6,000. Uh, now, now we should get the, uh, the diesel air input. I usually put it on the same side as the, um, as the display. It, it, it doesn't matter where you place it. Okay, but since, since we have it connected now, the air input, you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, you probably can. You can hear it just kind of working a bit. Or whatever. It's it's working, but it's not doing anything yet because there's nothing for it to do. You also need the exhaust. I prefer I prefer to put this on the other side, like that. As you can see, now it's now it's connected. But now we need cylinders. And let me get my cylinders real quick. Cylinders. Oh, I forgot. Uh, the exhaust is 4,500, and the um, air input is also 4,500. Need cylinders, which are $4,000. Uh, first small one, I'd say get four of these. So you can see, getting four of them right here. I have four, as you can see, the exhaust, the exhaust is using up. We have good air. We actually have decent torque at the moment for for this size. Um, now at the end, there's only one thing you need at the end, and that's the generator. So whenever you whenever you are happy with with uh, this. You need the generator at the end where this little thing is, right? So now you have this, you can see it'll start producing power. Actually, it'll start producing a lot of power. We're just going to go ahead and connect this to here so you can start using the power. You can hear it starting to choke. That's probably because right now it has uh, not enough air. You can actually fix that real quick <coughs> by uh, adding more air. You can remove some of the torque for not using it. You can add another air input. See, we're actually going to start using it. We, we can place probably another cylinder without it breaking. As you can see, we have decent decent amount of air. You don't want air too high, which actually it may be too high at the moment. The exhaust should stay, you, you should probably get it under 10% because you don't want a lot of exhaust. The air is still rising. It's it's actually really difficult to, to get this uh, to even out. Like even I'm having trouble here, but that's mostly because um I don't I, I'm not used to using diesel that much, so I don't I don't have the best experience with it, but I know how it works, so I can teach you how it works. We'll just we'll just add another one for um for the sake of doing so. We'll add another cylinder. What happens there? We still need another cylinder. And then we can attach another generator to it. Again, do do whatever suits your needs. Uh, lower quality diesel will probably perform less, uh, le less as good as uh, refined diesel. That's basically that's basically the gist of um, of uh, diesel engines. You can make these as big as it as the game allows you to. I'm not saying you should, but you can if you really want to go down that route. Um, you can also have these. You also have these extra things called the uh, the sideways, which allows you to uh, attach s to sides of crankshafts. To um, I actually don't know what you do with the sideways. I've I've actually never used them. I don't I don't know about that. Um, if anyone knows, you could tell me in the comments. We have the engine, the diesel engine decoration, which it's it's exactly what it's called. It's just a decoration. It makes it look makes it look nice. You know, you can do that. We also have the um, also have the th throttle controller, which you take the little yellow input and you put it into into a cylinder. This thing right here. Basically, the cylinder allows you to control. Allows you to tr control it. I'm actually going to remove one of these here because you can hear it struggling to keep up. And I'm going to lower the throttle here because we may actually need to. So I'm going to lower the throttle F. Lower it to 50. 
Yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see 50%. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I guess the job got done, I guess you could say. I'm actually just kind of experimenting right now, because I, I still have yet to find the best diesel. So, I've, or at least try. You can see now the exhaust is like nothing, which is really good. We could probably add more torque. Which, by that I mean, uh, cylinders. The more torque, the more power that it's generating. So you can see our maximum torque right there is that, but our torque being produced is actually really good. Um, it's, it's, it's not good at all, actually. That's just, that's just because I'm making a crappy design right now, I'm not really spending time perfecting it. But, but that, that's, that, that's how the diesel works. You need the brain, which is the controller, you need crankshafts going down the brain, as you can see here. You need a fuel input. Um, I, you probably should get a display so you can see what you need less of and what you need more of. For example, I need way less air. It's really hard to get it balanced out, but if, if, if you can get it balanced out, good for you. Um, you need exhaust, because obviously you don't want exhaust building up in your engine. You need air, in, air intakes, otherwise you, um, I mean, if the engine doesn't have air, it won't work. You need cylinders. The cylinders are basically like the things that help generate power. If you don't have the cylinders, it, it just won't work. You need torque. The torque, if you have zero torque, you just just won't do anything. And, uh, yeah, so these, these increase the amount of torque you have, the amount of torque you can use. Then the generator just pulls it all together, you know. This allows you to actually generate the electricity. Currently, it's just not filling up because the battery that I have it connected to is actually currently full. If I check, yeah, it's full right now. Um... Yeah, it's, it's basically, you have the direct decoration, I already told you how that works. I don't know how the sideways crankshaft works, I think it's just sideways version, although I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to work. Yeah, I don't know how that's supposed to work. Um, anyways, that's basically it. Sideways crankshaft actually may be a way for you to keep it neat, without having, like, the things in the side. I actually don't know, but that's basically how, uh diesel works I hope if, if I'm totally wrong about any of this and someone points it out and they're right I will 100% delete this video or at least make a new one but I think that's it for uh, today's tutorial I may be maybe adding I may, uh, I may be uh, putting on a new episode or a tutorial later this evening uh, I hope this helped anyone who's trying to use diesel but um have a good day Bye.